Amongst the Hashira, which one is the strongest? Today I'm going to be answering that question by going through every current Hashira and putting them against one another in one-on-one -on -one battles. I'll be accounting for all feats achieved and throwing them into a real battle where they go all out. This however won't include Slayer Marks, just the base version of each Hashira. As always, spoilers ahead. Both Sunemi and Obanai have incredible strength and speed. On one hand, Obanai can be incredibly unpredictable with his snake-like movements and tactical thinking, but on the other hand, Sinemi's attacks have incredible power behind them and he's known to have incredible willpower, even shown going up against Upper One Kokoshibo and holding out against him. But what would happen if both Sinemi and Obanai fought? We've seen hints of them fighting against one another in the Hashira training arc to be able to push each other to new heights, and both of them have full mastery over their respected breathing techniques. However, if I had to say who would win in a one-on-one -on -one battle, I would probably say the Wind Hashira himself, Sanami. Not only is Sanami faster than Obanai, which has been stated before, but overall Sanami has way more power behind his attacks and possibly more experience. There is an argument to be made about Obanai's unpredictable attacks, however if they're both going all out I think Sanami would certainly take the win. Even though most of you probably already know the answer to Guillaume versus Tengen, I would still like to explore how the fight between the two would go. For starters, Tengen has had feats such as taking on the two Upper Moon Six Demons, Gyutaro and Daki, not to mention that a key component to Tengen winning in that battle was his musical score technique, which allows Tengen to see the battle as musical notes and therefore counter most attacks. However, there is one drawback to this technique, that being Tengen has to be fighting his opponent for a while to adapt to the way they fight, which includes his opponent's habits, tactics, blind spots, and patterns. Then we have Guillaume, known for having incredible strength comparable to none. Not to mention that Guillaume defeated his first demon with his bare fists and became a Hashira within two months, a feat only achieved by one of a slayer. Now, I feel like a fight between these two would be incredibly interesting, as both of them have very unique Nietzscheine weapons. They both don't use the classic Nietzscheine katana that most slayers use. Despite that, it's it's obvious that Guillaume would definitely win this fight. I mean sure, if Tengen activated musical score he may have a chance, but I genuinely believe Tengen wouldn't live long enough to activate his musical score. Guillaume versus Sanami is a matchup I'm sure many would love to see. These two in particular would be interesting to see in battle as they both teamed up against Upper Moon 1 Kokushibo. Not to mention that both of these slayers have incredible willpower and raw damage output, so it would probably come down to experience. I think the fight would begin with both slayers using their most powerful moves, since I believe that they would know just how strong they both are. Though out of respect for one another, they would most likely use everything they have to beat the other person. When all is said and done though, I think Guillaume would absolutely take the win. As I said earlier, it would probably come down to experience, and considering Guillaume has been a slayer for so much more time than Sanami, I think Guillaume would win this by using his experience. <laughs> Having both Shinobu and Giyu fight is quite interesting, as we've seen them both somewhat fight before in the Mount Natagumo arc. Shinobu is of course a user of insect breathing and uses wisteria poisons to inflict damage, as she's too weak to behead a demon. The one thing Shinobu does have going for her though is her swift speed. Since she lacks the strength most slayers need for their battles, she makes up for more than enough with her speed. Shinobu has also gone toe to toe with Upper Moon 2 Doma, which is a fight that shows off her incredible speed and tactical thinking. Then we have Giyu Tomioka, a user of water breathing, which is a breathing type that is more defensive than offensive. Tomioka has been seen easily defeating Lower Moon Ruby with his 11th form Dead Calm, which is a technique where the user enters complete tranquility to be able to slash any incoming attacks with incredible speeds. He's also used this technique in his battle against Akaza alongside Tanjiro. So a fight between Shinobu and Giyu would definitely be intense and probably long, with Shinobu hurling a few insults towards Giyu. Although when push comes to shove, I think Giyu would absolutely take the win. All he would really need to do is activate Dead Calm to counter Shinobu and wear her stamina down before going in for the final attack.
the missed Hashira versus the love Hashira. This fight would probably be incredible. Let's start with Mitsuri first. Known for being the love Hashira, Mitsuri uses her super flexible movements to use her elegant yet devastating love breathing techniques in battle. She also uses a very unique whip-like Neatrune blade that complements her flexible movements. Mitsuri has also faced off against Upper Moon 4 where she was able to hold her own. I know I said I wasn't going to take Demon Slayer marks into account, but I'm referring to before she developed her mark when she was briefly facing off against Upper Moon 4 just after saving Tanjiro. Then we have Murichiro, user of Mist Breathing, and is the only other Hashira other than Giyome to reach Hashira status within two months. Murichiro has quite a fast-paced fighting style and, similar to Obanai, can create unpredictable movements with his seventh form, Obscuring Clouds, where he can fluctuate his tempo, which creates almost an after image of himself. Murichiro has also faced off against Upper Moon 5 Gyoko, who had a neck tougher than Diamond itself, showing Murichiro has complete mastery and control over his strength when it comes to his Nitrine Sword. Not to mention that Murichiro is the only Hashira, I believe, to solo an Upper Moon Demon. But who would win between the Love Hashira and the Mist Hashira? Well, on the surface, it would seem like Mitsuri would win with her incredible muscle density. I think ultimately, Murichiro would take the win. Not only is Murichiro a prodigy with becoming a Hashira so quickly, but his seventh form would absolutely be an ace up his sleeve. Giyu versus Marichiro would be another intense fight. Marichiro's mist breathing does seem to be very offensive, and as I said before, Giyu's water breathing is more defensive, though a lot of it would come down to stamina and who could last longer. It's very difficult to say who would win this fight as they both have impressive feats, but I think overall, Giyu would most likely take the win. I think if Marichiro were to train for another year, then the answer would be different since Marichiro has insane potential, but with the current versions of the Hashira that we have, I think Giyu would absolutely take the win with some injuries. Similar to the fight against Shinobu, all Giyu would really have to do is activate his 11th form, Dead Calm, and it would be incredibly difficult for Marichiro to land a hit. So I believe that Marichiro would probably burn through his stamina, allowing Giyu to take the win. Then we have the final battle between the Water Hashira and the Stone Hashira. I won't beat around the bush, Giyome would absolutely take this win. The fact is that Giyome is probably the strongest Hashira, no question about it. However, I do think Giyu would last a while in this fight nonetheless. I think similar to all the other Giyu fights, he would most likely activate his 11th form as it's kind of his ultimate move, but the sheer damage Giyome could output would probably just be too much for Giyu, and in the end, the Water Hashira would probably fall. This then brings us the final result. Of course, my opinion isn't definitive. Everyone has different opinions on the Hashira, so I would love to hear your rankings down in the comments and why you would have the Hashiras ranked in a certain way. Also, if you could put any Hashiras against one another, who do you think would have the most epic battle? Thank you for watching this video as always. Why don't you give this next video a try? YouTube thinks that you'd really like this video. But as always, Internet Stranger, have a good day. Pine Tree, logging off.